I've come to you um, looking a little bit rough so I'm just going to quickly get ready um, Zoe's in here with me so she may flush the toilet just FYI oh, I just wanted to you know when you don't feel really well you kind of feel a little yucky that's how I'm feeling so I just want to like do a little something to make myself feel good I'm rocking the Pride and Prejudice bang middle part right now. I feel a bit like, ooh, I wonder if that straightened out a little bit. That might look kind of cute, no? I don't know, man. But my hair is up in a little bun with something I forgot to tell you that I got at Maker's Mart. It's a brass hairpin that a local maker has made for a long time and I've always thought like, I don't need that. But it looks so good and it's like really holding my hair together. It takes a little bit of practice, you know, but I think it looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit, not like a skincare girly. Um, I'm 34, but I, I, and so I need to start, but I have really enjoyed the Coco Kind eye cream. Um, I liked their polypeptide cream. It comes in like the little purple canister thingy canister is that what it's called pot it's called it's a pot it came in a little purple pot i really liked it but i think it might be a little too heavy for my face maybe it's a better better for a night cream i really like the ultra repair cream this is yeah it's incredible my eyebrows are like the key to my face <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly do those I want to talk to you guys about something I decided I was going to I guess not do for vlogmas was do time lapses I did a couple of them I think for the first few days and I just didn't like it I mean I can see how they're appealing because they like show the whole process is just sped up but for me it, it kind of feels like when i at least for me when i watch time lapse videos it makes me feel like it shouldn't take very long because there's like no real idea what the pace actually is and so but my big thing is that i think not seeing the actual pace of something still kind of distorts how long it should take i don't know it distorts my expectations and so not that this matters to anybody you know this is just me getting real meta talking about creating but a choice that i've made this vlogmas is to not do very many time lapses if any anymore because I want to capture the slowness and of like how long this stuff actually takes you know I think my mascara is in my car so I will add just like a little bit of mascara to wake up my face when I get to the car but that's it that's all we're doing just to kind of pull myself together a bit it's been a bit of a weird day again <laughs> um so we're treating ourselves to ice cream okay 
so we figured out a bangs situation but um i haven't really done very much today um that's not true so story time we left a glass on the side table the kids love to play luna in particular loves to play with this lamp i don't know why it calls to her in the process of her playing she dropped the glass i don't know we're normal people i'm sure i'm sure you have all experienced the pile of clothes right by your door or right by your bed the glass fell into the pile of clothes Brayden then was trying to get Zoe to transfer from her stroller or her car seat to the bed. And when he put his foot down, what should he step on? But the glass. Glass shattered. So my day then turned into I need to get blood out of my white wool carpet, which has seen better days, but still, I don't want it to have blood on it. And I actually think I did a decent job getting the blood stains out it was it was pretty intense um so then that has led me to just start clearing out this you know this corner of clutter i'll just be honest part of what we're planning on doing is moving the dresser that's in our room that we i'm we brandon kind of refurbished re finished into the kids room because it's a kids dresser it is beautiful but it just ultimately does not have enough space to hold um you know an adult man's clothing in order to do that i need to empty out this corner and this space well i needed to do that to try to make sure that there was no glass shards just hanging out in the rug just vacuumed in here and she just dropped a granola ball in here anyway it just led me on a rabbit hole of cleaning that instead of cleaning everywhere else in my home but i will say i looked up an article on the spruce a website that i love like the spruce is my martha stewart if that makes sense and i used two teaspoons of dish soap diluted in two cups of cool water and a little toothbrush and i just dabbed the toothbrush yeah Mm -hmm. I dabbed the toothbrush into the solution, you know, scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed a little bit lightly from the outside in, used paper towels to dab it up, and that got it out really, really well. Um, I'm really impressed by that simple little fix. It's almost four o'clock today, and I don't know, man. I'm gonna clean slash what I'm trying to do also is like handle i have like piles of clothing everywhere i feel like i should be embarrassed by this i'm not embarrassed because i'm sure i'm not the only one who has piles of clothing come on sweetie just stacked on surfaces um a lot of this is like oh these clothes don't fit the kids anymore oh i don't really think i'm gonna wear this shirt um and it's just you know life with kids is hectic and often projects sit at 60% done and then multiple projects sit at 60% done and you end up with a very cluttered room where then your partner steps on a glass and cuts their foot open. I'm just gonna try to make some progress I think. It's just another thing that I feel like I've had to learn since having kids is what I want to do is go from zero to 100% completed in a day, preferably in two to four hours. And life with kids, especially life with three young kids, is actually more like just do what you can as long as you can and hopefully you remember to come back to it tomorrow or the next time that you can. <laughs>
weekend for me. Um, I've talked a lot today and I don't feel like I've done a lot. We've had a kind of a bad day, so yeah. So we are, uh, we ordered some takeout because we don't feel like cooking. And I've been trying to pinpoint like, why am I feeling like this? And I actually think that th like this time last year, we were getting ready to move out of um, our slum of an apartment. That was the second winter in a row that we didn't have a functioning heater. And uh, like the property owners just didn't care. Um, and so we were moving. This time last year we were packing up. We had like two weeks to pack our two bedroom apartment with a little <laughs> tiny baby Zoe. Um, I feel like my body is reliving that. There was a whole lot that was happening last winter. Um, a good thing was moving. Um, finding out my parents were splitting up was also happening. My mom wouldn't really tell us why. Um, we found out like our, our, well, we found out that our pastors were moving away from Sacramento to slow. So it just felt like a lot of loss, you know what I mean? A lot of change, a lot of, ooh, the ground just shifting under us in many ways for the better, but still a shift. Oh, I think Isaac's home with the food. You ready to eat? Mm -hmm.